Yo, what up, Raider Nation? What's up? Taking a look at the military awareness right there. Salute to the troops. Now we're going to get to the football game. Carson Palmer looking good as ever. Phillip Rivers is still a pansy. Uh, now, just looking at this, this is probably one of the most defining points in the game when the left tackle for the McNeil went down for the Chargers. And I mean, if you look at this play, it's pretty brutal. Wembley got the best of him right here. Was that Wembley? Oh, it was Aaron Curry, my bad. And he just gave him a shot, and McNeil never returned, and that really set the stage for the rest of the game. Here we go. Downfield pass to Jacoby Ford. If, if Carson Palmer leads him a little more, he's probably going for seven yards. That's something that I think Carson will get better at in time. But on this play, Jacoby got hurt, and he's hurt anywhere from – he's going to be hurt for a couple weeks. He, he's got not quite as bad of an injury as McFadden, but he hurt his ankle. Uh, here we go to the second quarter. And we look at Carson Palmer throwing a beautiful ball down to Daenerys Moore, but a better catch by Moore. I mean, this guy's, I see him being a potential Pro Bowler in a few years. I mean, look at this catch by a rookie. I mean, that's just, you don't see that from veterans, yet alone from a rookie out of Tennessee that didn't have a whole lot of production in college. But now we look at Carson Palmer rolling out, making a play, moving around in the pocket, and look at that throw right to Daenerys Moore. That play probably wasn't drawn up like that, but I think, uh, Daenerys Moore kind of improvised, and Carson Palmer did too. So that's a great, great on both of their parts. And now we look at the Oakland Raiders' pressure throughout the game, and look at Wembley with that dip move, and that's not getting stopped because that speed. This guy, number 62, I don't know his name, but he cannot take it all night. I mean, Wembley just lights out football. That dip move right there, you're not stopping that. I don't care. McNeil probably have a little better luck on that, but still, you know what? That's just a great play by Wembley, and he's back. It's safe to say he's back. Great for a third-round pick. He's kind of showing what he's got. He had a couple glimpses of that last year. And right here we look at a great catch by this guy's amazing. Brown guy, he got popped earlier in the game by Mike Mitchell, but, man, he made a great catch on this play. And, woo, Stanford route. I mean, he, he, not much he can do about that. You know, he put his hand up, but that's just a sensational catch by the rookie. Now we look at this screen pass. And we see what kind of downhill runner that Michael Bush can be. Yeah, he doesn't have that breakaway speed, but, I mean, he's got power. Look at that. That's a great play. That's a huge gain, and I think that's going to be working for us all season. The, just the mix of play calling this game really helped us. And then another pass to Denarius Moore. What a play. The young rookie got a touchdown on the big stage. That's a great That's a great ball by Carson Palmer, and I think that's going to keep – that's going to be some uh, trend that we continue to see throughout the season. And look at Carson Palmer right here. I mean, you know what? I think this is something that you do have to work on. I mean, he's only been here for three weeks, but he had two plays in the game, the interception and this, where I felt like, you know what? In a couple more weeks, I feel like he would have uh, sensed that pressure. But I still think that he's slowly evolving into a, an elite quarterback again. And, you know, here we go. Phillip Rivers throws it over to Brown again, the sensational Chargers rookie. But uh, the call was that Levi Shepard was out of bounds. He touched the ball, and Brown didn't have complete possession when Shepard touched the ball out of bounds, so therefore it's an incompletion. The rule makes sense if you think about it. Uh, I don't think anybody questioned the call, really. That was a, it, was a tough, it was a tough break for the rookie because he made a great catch. But, I mean, and they get it back anyways right here with the Hester touchdown. And that's just, that's great. Uh, that's a great ball by Phillip Rivers, you know. He did play, he plays good on those little dump downs to running backs and Antonio Gates, but he didn't have a lot of success down the middle of the field. Uh, let's see right here. Michael Bush, I mean, that's all night. I mean, he was getting 10, 15, 20-yard runs. He couldn't, didn't have that breakaway speed, or he probably would have had three, four touchdowns last night. But, I mean, it's just it's exceptional play by everybody. And here, ah, uh, you know, you just look at that, and you're like, dang, you think in three, four weeks he's going to throw that – that touchdown to Lewis Murphy, he's not going to get hit. He'll step up, and he won't get hit on that. I think three, four weeks, we'll be looking at a whole new quarterback. And right here, Lito Shepard, he's got to catch that interception. But once again, I still think that he played very good football game. Phillip Rivers got lucky that he didn't throw an interception there. Not so lucky here with the Matt Giordano picks interception right here. Look at that. I mean, Vincent Jackson kind of gave up on the ball. 
That's what some people are saying, but you know what? Giordano doesn't care because that counts as an interception for him. Got the team the ball back. So now we look at this run, and you just say, Michael Bush, beast, keeping the clock running. Had to punt the ball after that. Here comes the Chargers. They got a minute and four seconds left to make something happen. Little dump down to, uh, I can't tell who that is. Is that that Brown guy? Yeah, it's Brown. And, you know, Little Shepard makes a great tackle on him, and I think that's that's good stuff right there. You're not getting Antonio Gates down on the ground unless you're just an exceptional player. Uh, and here we go right here. You know, it's a great down-the-field pass right here down the middle. You know, Brown, once again, kind of killed us at a receiver. He's He looks very promising, though, for the Chargers. And right here, you know, the pass rush is just getting to him, and that just sets the stage for the next play. Philip Crimea River right here. He's got one more play to make a difference, and you just get this rush by the mean Tommy Kelly. Game over. And, folks, Raider Nation, this is a great win. I heard Raider Greg, all them on the, on the Raider Nation podcast, shout out to him. But you know what? That's why you got to stay positive because the Oakland Raiders will surprise you, you know. I just think that you can't judge it by one game because, you know, first of all, it was his first two games. Right now, Raider Nation, we're making a comeback, and we're winning the division. We're going to the playoffs, and quote me, we're making a run in the playoffs. Raider Nation.